I am not the richest, smartest or most talented person in the world. But I succeeded because I keep going and going and going. I believe any success in life is made by going into an area with a blind and furious optimism. Success is usually the culmination of controlling failures. Your brain is triggered to produce. Consider the source. Don't be a fool by listening to a fool. I stopped thinking the way other people think a long time ago. You got to think like you think. It would be great to be able to pass on to someone all of the success, the failures and the knowledge that one has had to help someone avoid all the fire, pain and anxiety would be wonderful. Without love, loyalty, desires, passion, courage, dignities, faith, beliefs and all the other ingredients that go into making the human soul something so elevated that only god knows its limits we are only shells bobbing aimlessly in a calm sea of mediocrity the fear is the fuel that we use for over achievement if i was not afraid at times i would not work as hard life is more than sunglasses and hit movies reality that is the main event every time i have failed people had me out for the count but i always come back if you don't have a mountain build one and then climb it and after you climb it build another one otherwise start to flatline your life I am more focused and have a greater sense of challenge because I constantly feel the weight of time. Once in one's life for one mortal moment one must make a grab for immortality. If not one has not lived. Life is an opponent that never stops punching. So you better never stop punching back there is a natural law of karma that vindictive people who go out of their way to hurt others will end up broke up and alone i think that gravity sets into everything including careers but pendulums do swing and mountains do become valleys after a while if you keep on walking you are what you leave behind usually when you are scared of something do it if you are not afraid of it don't do it most action is based on redemption and revenge and that is a formula moby dick was formula it is how you get to the conclusion that makes it interesting if you are willing to take the humiliation of sticking your head above the crowd maybe it is you know the pleasure will be worth the pain i believe there is an inner power that makes winners or losers and the winners are the ones who really listen to the truth of their hearts you have got to show your soul otherwise you are just a piece of equipment love is totally about loyalty people fade looks fade but loyalty never fades i take rejection as someone blowing a bangle in my ear to wake me up and get going rather than retreat dreams cost nothing they are free 
The hard part is just keeping them going. Once in one's life for one mortal moment, one must make a grab for immortality. If not, one has not lived. I was an ambitious child and I tended to be scattered brain. If I was at school and saw a bird outside the window, I wanted to follow it. I was adventurous. I am a patriot of the heart. Painting is as close as a person can get to actually capturing the heat of the moment. Now it really is, believe it or not, 90% of the films are greenlit, not by the studio heads, but by the marketing department. If you look at people that have survived crashing in the mountains and lived up in the snow for 40 days, it is possible to do extraordinary feats. If you express yourself too much, you are considered weak. I am not handsome in the classical sense. The eye droop, the mouth is screwed, the teeth are not straight, the voice sounds like a mafioso palbiera, but somehow it all works. People do not realize that when they throw out their back, it is often because of weak abs. These muscles are essential for lower back strength and good posture. People think retiring is fun. Well, maybe, but if you have a certain kind of fire inside, there is no end in sight. I think everyone has a certain kind of formula in their life. When you deviate from that formula, you are going to fall big or you are gonna win big. Just because society says I am old does not mean I am. The body needs to rest. It needs a lot less exercise than you think. The world will never come together and say, we are one. The first step to getting anywhere is deciding you are no longer willing to stay where you are. You can feel sore tomorrow or you can feel sorry tomorrow. You choose. Find a heart that will love you at your worst and arms that will hold you at your weakest. I am the creator of my destiny.